And joining me now is Representative Rick Crawford. He represents the 1st District of Arkansas. Congressman, thank you for being here. Let's talk about health care reform. It is the topic of the day in Washington, D.C. Tell me where you stand presently on the, uh, the Ryan Trump health care plan. Uh, I, I'm not for it right now, and um, so far I haven't seen any of the changes that will compel me to change that vote at this point in time. Tell me what some of the changes might be that would change your vote, uh, either in a firmer no position or in a uh, into a positive position. Is there something specific you're looking for? Yeah, I tell you, I think we kind of missed the mark possibly on just how we got started with this deal. I think that, you know, you've heard the the uh, the three bucket sort of theorem that, you know, we'll start the first bucket will be this reconciliation uh, piece where we'll vote on that, which is what we're sort of wrangling now. And then the second bucket would be the administrative action. And then the third bucket being those legislative uh, pieces that are going to require, uh, uh, you know, specific legislation that don't fall under the budget reconciliation um, uh, method. So I think they got that wrong in my opinion. I think they should have taken the administrative action first and then started the reconciliation piece. I, you know, I'm not the expert, they, I guess they are, but my point is this, it just seems like what we're doing is setting up the, uh, uh, the administration, HHS, Secretary Tom Price, for a whole lot of litigation that, that possibly could have been avoided, that's number one. Number two, I don't think that they're fully utilizing the budget reconciliation process that they could in a more creative way. But then again, I think probably the better approach from my perspective would have been for the House and the Senate to work in concert, recognizing we're going to initiate this legislation in the House based on what the Senate believes they can pass through reconciliation and then add on to it, change it as it needs to be, and then send it back to the House. And I think we could have had we worked a little more, uh, uh, more of a concerted effort, we might have had a better chance of actually getting this across the finish line to more people's satisfaction. It doesn't appear that that's, uh, that's the approach that they're taking, but that's, that's just my perspective. And so if this, uh, if the H AHCA does fail, perhaps that will be the, uh, the drawing board that they go back to on that.